Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing really well. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you five ways to style wide leg trousers. And I feel like wide leg trousers are one of those pieces that you see, you love, you buy, and then you struggle to style. They're a little bit of an awkward one. And so I thought I would show you five simple ways to style wide leg trousers using pieces that hopefully you already own in your wardrobe, just using very simple wardrobe staples to put together five simple outfits. The trousers that I'm going to be styling up are these gorgeous stone wide leg trousers from Everlane, but I will also link some really great alternative options below as well, depending on your budget. Um, I've spotted some great ones at H&M, Mango. I've seen, yeah, I've seen a few really great options around, so I will leave those linked below as alternatives, as well as this beautiful pair from Everlane. And every other piece, every other item of clothing that I style up throughout will also be linked below in the description box if it's still available. Um, but if you've got any questions about anything at all, then just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. But let's get going with outfit number one. Okay, so this is outfit number one. And for this look, I've gone for a very kind of neutral tonal outfit, styling it with a very similar tone of blazer. Um, so I'm gonna start off with a white t-shirt. It's just a very simple white t-shirt from Mango, short sleeves, 100% organic cotton, just, yeah, great little t-shirt, but obviously I think the majority of us own a simple white t-shirt already. Um, over the top, I have got on this gorgeous linen blend blazer. Now I've had this for a couple of years, so unfortunately it's no longer available, but I feel like this time of year, spring, summer, there's a lot of this style of blazer coming out. I've seen them at different places recently, so I'm going to link some great alternatives below. Um, but yeah, this is just a really great spring summer blazer and it works really well with the trousers. Although it's not the same color, it's a very similar neutral tone. And I think that's the thing with styling neutrals together, as long as they're a similar tone, like if you were styling a taupey, more of a pinky taupe neutral with a pinky taupe neutral, they work together. Whereas if you style more of like a pinky neutral with more of like a greeny tone, it doesn't quite work. So just make sure of neutrals, even if they're not exactly the same color, as long as they're the same tone of neutral, they should work really well together. And obviously as the weather gets warmer, you could take the blazer off and just wear a simple white t-shirt with the trousers works perfectly. And then I've also popped on these very simple white leather trainers. And I feel like these shoes just keep this outfit that little bit more casual, little bit more easy as a very kind of simple day outfit. Oh, and I've also got my little coach bag as well. I thought it worked well with the creamy neutral tones. And I feel like this look is very easily recreated with any wide leg trouser and a similar tone blazer, simple white t-shirt and trainers. Um, and yeah, just a very easy way to style wide leg trousers. Okay, for this next outfit, I've styled the trousers with a black leather jacket, black crop top, black sandals, and a black bag. So slightly more of a summer feel with the crop top and the sandals, but obviously you can definitely adjust this outfit to suit your own personal style. Um, so starting off with the leather jacket, this is from All Saints. I've had this for a few years now. It's just a really, gorgeous leather jacket but again this would work with any leather jacket i'm presuming most people own a leather jacket already and it would work really well styled with wide leg trousers underneath i've got on this little black crop top and i know that crop tops definitely aren't for everyone i love how they look styled with high waist trousers just for a tiny little bit of tummy out um, but this would work equally with a black t-shirt a black v-neck with a black kind of, you know those like slinky bodies tucked in, those kind of high neck sleeveless slinky bodies. I think it would work really well styled like that as well. Um, but yeah, I just thought it worked quite well with a little crop top. And then on my feet, I've got on these black leather sandals just to keep the outfit that little bit more spring summer. Um, but I also think that this would work really well, again, styled with trainers. I love how wide leg trousers look with simple trainers so i think it, yeah it would look really cute styles like that as well and then to finish off the outfit i've got on my little black chloe bag and then for my jewelry i've gone for some gorgeous little gold pieces again i won't talk through my jewelry for each outfit but i will make sure i link everything in the description box below and i will have a discount code for monica vinader which is where this necklace is from and my earrings are from majuri i will have a discount code for majuri as well they will be in the description box below. Um, not an ad, but I have ongoing discount codes for them. 
And then just to quickly show you, as an alternative to a leather jacket, as the weather gets warmer, this outfit also works really well with a lightweight shirt worn open over the top. And I say worn open because I'm going to show you in the cutaways how this outfit looks with the shirt closed and it really doesn't work. One thing I would say is if you're styling wide leg trousers, don't wear them with something wide and baggy over the top because it just looks too much material and it can be very unflattering. Where I'm styled undone with something a little bit more fitted underneath, not necessarily a crop top, but like a fitted body tucked in or a fitted cami tucked in, then it works really well and you can still see a little bit of shape. It doesn't kind of drown you in fabric and it works really well. Um, and this shirt is old from Misguided. It's just a very simple, like crinkly fabric. I think it's actually like a beach cover up shirt, but it works really well in summer, just thrown on over the top of a crop top or a vest top. Um, and I think it works really well, styled with these trousers as well. Okay, this is the next outfit. And for this look, I have styled the trousers with a stripy t-shirt, a trench coat, and my phasias. So starting off with the t-shirt, this is actually a black and cream stripy t-shirt. And I thought the cream worked really well with the tone of the trousers, but this would also work well with blue and white stripes, blue and cream stripes, black and white stripes, any kind of like simple striped t-shirt, short sleeve, long sleeved, v-neck, a body, <laughs> you name it. I'm sure probably you own some sort of stripy t-shirt in your wardrobe. Over the top, I've got on this drapey trench coat in a kind of brownie khaki color. And I do actually have the same trench coat in a very similar color to the trousers, but I thought that this contrast worked really well. And because they were quite cool, neutral tones, again, they, the trousers complemented the tone of the trench coat perfectly. Now, I will just say, I have styled this with the sleeves rolled up and worn open. And worn like this, it works really well with the wider trousers. It kind of balances the outfit out, having the sleeves rolled up and having it a little bit more open. But I'm also going to show you in the cutaways how it looks if I had the sleeves long and worn kind of clothes like this or tied up. It just doesn't work as well because there's a lot of material in the trench coat and obviously a lot of material in the trousers. Again, it looks like too much fabric. So just bear in mind that if you plan on styling this with the trench coat, I recommend wearing it with the sleeves rolled up. And all I've done, if you do have trouble with your sleeves staying up on the blazers or trench coats, what I've done is I've just popped a little hair tie. So if you just pop a hair tie like on kind of just above your wrist and then pull it up like this and then sort of just pull the fabric over the top of the hair tie, it covers it up perfectly and it means that you can kind of waft your arms around to your heart's content and the sleeves aren't going to fall down. So it's just a little tip if you want to style something like this with the sleeves rolled up, a hair tie either side works perfectly. Um, and then on my feet I have got on my vasias and I did also put this outfit on with tan sandals as well. I think it looked lovely with the sandals but I just thought the trainers made it that little bit more chilled and casual and worked really well to finish off the look. Oh and also I did pop on my new Celine basket bag as well because again I thought it just gave it that very casual day look. Um, but any bag, any sort of neutral bag, I would style with this outfit, black or beige or kind of khaki brownie tones would work perfectly. Okay, this next outfit is one of my favorite ways to style these trousers. And it's just with a black V-neck, a black blazer, plenty of gold jewelry, a black belt, and again, with my beiges and a black bag. And I just think that this is such a simple way to wear these trousers but it just looks so great. I just love how they look styled like this. Um, so first of all, I've just got on the most simple short sleeved V-neck t-shirt. This is from ASOS. I've had it for about a, a year now. It washes and wears really well. If it's still available, I will leave it linked, but if not, I'll try and find some really great alternatives. Over the top, I've got on a black blazer from Everlane. And again, this is from around a year ago, maybe over a year ago now but they have recently just released a very, very similar one to this, which I will leave linked as an alternative. Um, and it's also really, really lovely quality and just a great fit and cut as well. Um, obviously the same wide leg trousers as before, the same beiges as before, because I just think the white beiges with the black V detail on them just works really well, kind of tying in with all the black up top. 
Um, black bag and like I said before, plenty of gold jewellery just to brighten up the outfit a little bit. And this leather belt which is from Topshop. And then I have just finished off the outfit with these sunglasses that I've just popped on my head. And these are actually from Amazon Fashion. You may have seen these in a recent vlog of mine. I found these on Amazon Fashion. A two pack, these tortoiseshell ones and black for 6 99 So I will leave these linked if they're still available because I just think they're such a fabulous pair of sunglasses at such a bargain price and I think they work really well styled with this outfit as well. And then the final way I've styled these trousers and a much more summery vibe is with an oversized white linen shirt, a little kind of matching linen crop top and tan accessories and obviously the tan details on the basket bag as well. Um, so starting off with the linen shirt, this is from Everlane and I've actually got this linen shirt in a size two and a size six, which are US sizes by the way, so a size six and a 10, but I, I would say that they're both an oversized six and an oversized 10. So anyway, this is the US six. And as you can see, it's very oversized and it works perfectly to be styled like this, worn open and a little bit more loose and chilled and casual. Um, and I wear these linen shirts so, so much in spring, summer. They're just a really, really great wardrobe staple. But this would also work really well with a white cotton shirt or even if you wanted to borrow your partner's cotton shirt to recreate this look that would also work really well underneath i've got on this little linen crop top that kind of matches the tone of the trousers obviously it doesn't match exactly but it works well enough this is from asos um, but like i said before you don't need to style this with a crop top it would work with a vest top a cami top a body tucked in or even a bikini top in summer if you wanted to kind of make it that little bit more of a summery outfit a little bikini top would work perfectly as well and then i have gone for some tan accessories just to keep it a little bit more summery so i've got on this tan belt from amazon fashion and this is actually one of those ones that kind of wraps in and folds through but it's a little bit long on me when it's pulled down so i've just tucked that bit round to the side and i think it works well styled like that but obviously any tan belt would work and then on my feet i have got on some tan sandals that are also from Amazon Fashion, really comfortable, super affordable. I think they were under 20 pounds, just a great pair of summery sandals. And I have also finished off the look with this gorgeous Celine bag. And again, the tan of the straps and obviously the logo work really well with the tan of the belt and the sandals. And that is the final outfit. Honestly, I could have gone on and on. I feel like there's so many ways that I could style wide leg trousers. And obviously these outfits are slightly more tailored to this time of year coming into spring, summer, but some of them could also be adapted slightly to work for autumn, winter as well. Probably more autumn, but you could definitely layer knitwear underneath the trench coats or the blazers, or kind of switch up the t-shirt for a slightly thicker jumper and that would work really well as well. Um, but I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I really hope you found it useful. If you did, please do remember to give it a thumbs up and I would love to know which look you liked the most. Do leave a comment and let me know which outfit was your favourite. If you are new here and you did enjoy the video, I would love it if you could subscribe for plenty more fashion content. And like I said before, everything will be linked below in the description box for any questions about anything at all. Just leave a comment and I will get back to you as soon as possible. Um, but that's everything. Thank you so, so much for watching and hopefully I will see you again in my next video. Bye.